So, welcome back to Death's Door. Um, unfortunately, so I beat the game, but unfortunately, there was extra stuff for me to for me to do, and I recorded it, but I wound up deleting the video by mistake. So you kind of miss uh you're, this. There's not any information. So in the game, it made you collect these uh these talismans that open this up. And you get these weird shiny thing items that don't do anything, but because you're a crow, and crow are, crows are known for... Man, I gotta turn this down. Crows are known for taking, you know, things, shiny things, and burying them for later, like dogs. I think. But, in this, we had... Like these talismans that look like eye, they look like the eye, look like an eyeball from a certain game. So, in the cemetery, you are supposed to align these red ghosts with these statues of Dormant. Then you are finding pieces of the eyes by finding an owl somewhere, and then. Tom, the chef, who was actually an octopus, you could, and if you also, there was, uh, actually, no, I think I can show that. Actually, I won't. There was a bell tower in the Lost Cemetery, and if you struck the bell, it would turn all the arenas nighttime, and that nighttime. Don't, switching it to nighttime allowed you to revisit the areas and find extra secrets. So you went to the stranded sailor. Tom was no longer standing up with his octopus on his back, but he was lying near dead, and the octopus was in a fishbowl. You spoke to the octopus, the octopus would occupy your back, and you would take him to wherever you wanted to, but the drawback from that was. You couldn't use any of the doors to get from, to quick travel. You had to travel by foot. And if you went to the sunken ruins, he would pray to the moon, to the moon and reveal the octopus god that gave you the eyeball, the eye talisman. So, and you went to the cemetery. Again, you alive the red ghosts up to the statues to light up the eyeball, the eyes of the statue, and you would find, and if you go back to the other areas, the beginning parts, that is, the first areas of each area, you would find an owl that would give you a piece of the eye talisman. But, here is what happens when you collect the ball, when you go back to the crow, the crows that, uh, the crow's haven. Atop a great tower many centuries ago, a door existed before the one you have known. The first door was opened by a human seeking the power of gods. Their action would come at the cost of your soul. with the being known as Truth. They gained the knowledge of all things across all time. 
They escaped and returned to the living world, but their soul was lost to the Aether. The first door was shattered and broken. With its destruction, the Great Tower collapsed into the mountains. Truth emerged into the living world, tethered to the ruins that once housed the door. An opportunity was seized by the Lord of Doors who retrieved the essence of the first door. They would reconstruct the door in a new location and trap death beyond it. This would result in the world stagnating for many centuries. A reaper was assigned the soul of the mortal who opened the first door. An impossible task as this soul was already lost to the Aether. Without this knowledge, the reaper would, would be lost searching for many centuries. Truth would whisper to, to the free crows, offering them knowledge and guiding them towards breaking the world free of death. It would convince them to tamper with the operations at the commission to assign the giant soul, soul to the foretold crow. This would set the foretold crow off to their journey. The foretold crow would gather the seven tablets of truth. They would enter and behold the sight of the first door and carry the power of truth out of its prison. Why? 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 What was that about? So, if anyone that lost in context, the first person that opened the door of truth is the character from Titan Souls. After collecting enough of the Titan Souls, you had to face off with the truth. And once you defeated the truth, Once you, you would replay the game, and this time you would learn the name of the titans. That the titans that you had to collect, the souls of the titans you had to collect. However, upon the second playthrough, and the first playthrough, you would find a secret titan who had done who did the same thing, but he stated that he had a price to pay as well, and so would you, the first the first boy that opened the door. Man, why are these homeless people always doing something weird? <sighs> anyway, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay, and I'll see you guys in the next one.